back again with a big smile on my face at the same place, different time. My dear friends, I hope you are feeling all right. Of course you are feeling all right. Of course, win is a win. I don't care whatever we did or where we get the win or what we did on the page, if we defended all the game, if we win, it's a win, it's the three points, you smile and everything is good and the enemy team feeling, you know, bad about it and they look disappointed on their faces, who cares? If you win, you win, you get three points. It's unbelievable when you look at the, uh, the ball position, Brighton have 62 ball position, Chelsea have 36 <laughs> ball position. It's understanding and yeah, we got red card and <laughs> once again, once again, discipline. Discipline, let me talk about this first. Let's get into this about discipline. <laughs> Another captain got red card. Another captain got red card. Of course, you can say the referee was off on this game. That's another story. We know the referees in the Premier League are just disgusting, right? The decision they make doesn't make sense. Especially the outcome to the last one. It's just crazy. There's a lot of things going on in my mind right now, right? A lot of things to talk about. A lot of things, you know, to see. <laughs> Especially in the Chelsea side. On Brighton side, that's their fault. You know, they didn't take this game seriously. Nine men Chelsea and they can't win that game. Pff, come on, you have to win. You have to win that game. I don't care. Yes, they are playing European football. Pff, you have to. Yeah, as I said, there's a lot of things going on in my mind <laughs> to talk about. Gallagher. Let's get into Gallagher. Discipline. Look, your friend got red card last week against Newcastle and you did the same thing. What's the point? What's the point? Look, Gaga, he was the captain today. I think most of you watched the game. If you didn't watch the game, yes, Gaga was the Chelsea captain today because Rhys James suspended. And he got yellow card, another yellow card, red card. No discipline. No discipline. This is what we've been talking about. For ages, we've been talking about discipline, right? It feels like ages. Yeah, we started talking about discipline a, a Newcastle game last week. Last week we started. But it looks like this has been going and on and on and on and on forever, right? So, Garaga, just stupid tackle. Like, you know you're on the yellow card. You cannot do stupid tackles like that. You know, you have to think. You have to calm down, man. Calm down. I'm on the yellow card. I have to behave myself, you know? Behave yourself. Just chill. If a player pass you, let him pass you. There'll be another uh, person to defend over there. That is it. It's just crazy to think there's no discipline in this Chelsea team. Now, Pochettino has to be a dad. Pochettino has to be a dad in the house. Look, this Chelsea player comes to the training every day. Has to sit down them in the house. You know, put the food on the table and, you know, the stick, with a stick. Where is the stick? There's no stick here, you know. Ah, this is not a stick. This is a, uh, <laughs> something else. I don't have a stick here. With a stick, you know, start teaching children how to behave. You know, if the children are not, are not behaving well in the house, if you're a father, what are you going to do? You punish them, right? If they're keeping no reasoning to you every time you say something, then... Get out. <laughs> Get out of my house. You feel like you're a grown up person. You feel like you can handle situation. You feel like you can handle pressure. You can go find a job and yeah, get your own house and get your own wife. That's a dad in the house, you know, if the children are not reasoning to it. Pochettino need to do the same thing. Need to do the same thing in this Chelsea team. Discipline, number one. You cannot just do that. And after that, it continue. You see to Moses Caicedo, right? Him too. Like, it just went stupid, like, guys, there's no discipline here. This is what we're talking about. Luckily, Casado was so lucky. Casado was so lucky. <laughs> oh, wow. I was screaming. I'm like, get Casado out. You'll get red card. Get him out right now. But, but, when I saw those uh, substitutions he made, Pochettino, I'm like, okay, he's trying to defend. He's trying to pack the bus. Uh, you can say pack the bus, but it was more just, you know, to try to protect the read until Chelsea have that penalty. Unbelievable. Look, on that penalty, 
I didn't see as a penalty. We were so lucky. I'm saying this as a Chelsea fan. That was not a penalty. Both guys, Mira and Modric, went down. Both went down. I did not see a penalty. Let me know down in the comment if you saw. If you didn't see it, go see it. You know, because I saw it like three, four times. I'm looking at it. I'm like, yes, we got a penalty. Yeah? That feels good to us. But in general, it's not a penalty. <laughs> That game, you'll see, Brighton, they're going to complain about that. They will complain and I understand why they will, they will complain about that. It's just crazy. Another one wanted to bite us, Levy Cornwell, you know, the ball. He was in the 18th box and then the ball hit his head and went in the air. And everything just went crazy and everybody was confused. What's going on there? Everybody's taking too long. The referee handed 10 minutes on the game and then it ended up to be 16 minutes. The referee was awful. As I said, the referee situation in the Premier League is not a surprise thing. It's not a surprise thing at all. It is what it is. It's a game. We won three points and we move on to Man United next week. A lot of people, they're having that confidence. Yeah, we are back again. Chelsea fans need to rain. Chelsea fans, they need to rain something. Don't get carried away. If if Chelsea win this game, do not get, get carried away. We almost bore it. We almost bought this game down ourselves. And this is what Portutino said. This performance Chelsea team are performing. Yes, they are young people. But it's on them. It's on us. It's not the other team. No, no. It's on us. It's here. It's mental. <laughs> it's mental. You perform and then you go down next game. You perform and then you go down next game. That needs to stop. That needs to stop completely. You'll be surprised we're playing Man United game. We can just go heart attack FC. That one. This is Chelsea Football Club. This is what happened. This is what I'm saying. Don't get yourself up there. Just, you know, when I was watching the game, I was not even celebrating those goals. I did not celebrate. I was just sitting down. My wife, she's like, yo, you're not celebrating Chelsea scoring goals. And I'm just like, yeah, I know. I know. I'm just going to come down until 90 minutes. And I was like, yeah, three points. So right now, I'm not going to get carried away. <laughs> even if Chelsea win against Man United, right now, I'm just, you know, cool. I'm like, okay, we win, we lose, we lose. We move on. I think this process people keep talking about and the Chelsea Football Club, Top Ball Report to Tino, they keep talking about process. I can see the process now. I can see the process and I don't think Chelsea, they're going to hit the ground right away. I think we are going through something. It's crazy. It's hard to say this, but it is what it is. We're going through process and it's going to take a while to get, to get back. It's going to take a while to get back. But there is but. That is in the Horner's hand, you know? Horner's hand and Portutino hands to wake up and get experienced players and start winning again and get back into top four. That's all. It's on them. If they are wasting time, then we're just going to be in this process. We've got good players, but they are young with no experience. It is what it is. Now, Blyton. <laughs> I haven't talked about the other team like this. This is the first time I think I will talk about a little bit of the other team. Brighton needed to win this game. Of course, as I said, they are playing European competition. It's not an excuse. They know Chelsea, they are up and down from, and they can eat them just like that. They knew exactly, you know, after Garaga went off, they should have take that advantage, score four goals and win the game, but they did not. I have to say, yeah, I'm blaming Chelsea all this stuff, right? I've been Garoga getting sent off and all this discipline mistake. But Chelsea did well in this game. Chelsea did fantastic. They defended well. You know, they put the team, as I said, those substitutions he made was on point. And we take three points. This is what all the fans want. This is it. If you win, it doesn't matter what type of game you play. It doesn't matter if you kick, you know, <laughs> boxing in the game. If you end up winning the game, especially if you are red card like that, that's a huge win. Very huge. So for that, just for that, we take three points against, you know, <laughs> 10 men Brighton and we are nine men in the, in the box over there. Congratulations to Chelsea. That's very, very good to see, you know, and we are back in number 10 position. I cannot believe I'm saying number 10 position, but the situation can tell you we are back in 19 points at the table. And yeah, if we win against Man United, I think we can go number nine. <laughs> if we win, 
I still have the confidence in me that we're gonna reach one of the European competition. If it's Conference League, if it's uh, Europa League, maybe we can do that. You never know, you end up finishing top four. You just never know. I have the feeling if Chelsea just, 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 you know, keep that mindset of winning, winning every game, winning, winning, you go with that then I think we'll reach some certain of European competition and that's what you need, you know? I wanna see my team, even if it's Thursday night, <laughs> we are playing Europa League or Tuesday night, whatever, we are playing the Conference League, something like that. I just wanna see that. It hurts me to see other team playing uh, the Champions League on Wednesday and then you are watching other team and you are thinking about like, oh man, I wish was my team in this Champions League. It is crazy, <laughs> after crazy, but I enjoyed this game today and I'm loving it and Chelsea did a good job especially at Stamford Bridge getting three points it's very very good it's not embarrassment yes the red card felt like it's gonna be embarrassment as you know in general when Chelsea get the red card like that our head go down and then we started thinking something else and then everybody just the mountain drop and then we lose the game you know I was watching on now uh, one of the watch alone now I won't mention <laughs> a lot of people they're like oh I think we are done I think we are done this is it you know Chelsea Football Club it's attack FC FC attack FC <laughs> It is crazy, right? But it is what it is. But as I said again, I'm fixing a lot of stuff right now. I will start doing the watch along. Just keep your eyes open on that. I'll let you know when I'm ready and because I'm fixing stuff, I wanna put stuff together so we can have a good watch along. It's gonna come very, very soon. So yeah. Let me know down in the comment what do you think about the Chelsea game today? Are you happy about the three points? Personally, as I said, I'm happy with the three points. We win. Very, very happy. That puts a smile on my face for this weekend. And let's think the next game. This game is done. Although, at the end of the game, I hope there will be no shenanigans. I just hope. This is why I said again, discipline need to be there. Portutino need to sit down and talk to his children. This is his children, you know. They are young players. Need to talk about this and we move on. I just hope, I just hope. There's nothing to come out in this. Oh, this guy has been banned. This guy has been banned because Podotino went to talk to the referee. I don't know why he was talking. It did not look aggressive when he went there. So I hope, I just hope that's, yeah, that's not the problem. He looked fine and he was smiling and he was talking to Brighton players. It kicked on after that game. Uh, as I said, 10 minutes end up to be 16 minutes. So it's kicked on and Brighton players started fighting with the Chelsea players and they just went nut on the stadium so i just hope there's no shenanigans i hope i feel good about this you know what i wanted to win this game just because of Dizabi. <laughs> i remember that transfer window Dizabi kept talking 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 and then after that he had admitted himself he's like oh we missed casado we we miss uh michael last uh, when he went to liverpool he was talking too much about chelsea players so i'm so happy we win at Stamford bridge I just hope we went to them and win on their home. That would be nice, but it's okay. It was at Stamford Bridge. And yeah, home fans and especially the locals who went to watch the game. This is a good uh, medicine on them. <laughs> it's a good medicine, guys. You pay a lot of money, buy the tickets, and then you go and you lose the game. It hurts, man. It hurts. I remember when I was uh, when I was at Stamford Bridge when I went over there. I don't remember exactly which team Chelsea they were playing. They were they supposed to play on Saturday and then it changes on Sunday. And I was going to Scotland, so I missed the game. I did not buy a ticket. I was like, oh boy, <sighs> why did you do that? So something like that, right? You bought the tickets and then you lose the game. It's not a good feeling. So Chelsea won and we are so happy and we move on to United. We're coming for you. This is what everybody said. We're coming for you. I'm not going to get excited, as I said. <laughs> but I will see you soon, guys. Have a lovely day wherever you are. Let's discuss this game, this win. It's lovely, jubbly. Yeah, it's good to be a Chelsea fan, right? <laughs> Oh man, I will see you soon. Subscribe to Isaac Football Club. Hit that notification bell. You don't have to miss all the sweet dreams right here at Isaac's Football Club. I will see you soon. Have a lovely day wherever you are. God bless.